Hi guys, you're very welcome to my channel. My name is Anna Maria and today I want to film like a very easy to watch, a chill vlog where I will share my opinions, where I'll share what I think about different life situations. And I will probably film this video over a few days so we can get a bit closer, so we can get to know each other a bit better. And let me know in the comments if you like watching some vlogs. I know that they are not the most watched videos, but they make us become closer. And in here, I don't want to cut too much. I just want to be myself. I want you to know how I am in, in the real life. Hey, so it's a such a beautiful day today. It was about 23 degrees, so I decided to come to the beach after work. And it was sunny the whole day, and I had a feeling that when I'll come to the beach, the sun will go away. So this is what happened. <laughs> but I'm still enjoying this time because it's so nice and warm and we're expecting a lot of rain, about a week of rain and I thought that I can just come and just enjoy here and spend some time on the beach because, you know, even though I live at the sea, I don't get to see the sea so often and I really like this smell of the sea. It's so sunny and so beautiful and, you know, I thought that I can talk to you about something interesting. I wanted to talk to you about messages. Obviously, I get a lot of messages on my inbox, on Instagram, on LinkedIn, on Facebook. So many, many people come with a lot of questions to me. So you might have loads of people just messaging you out there. Maybe they have plenty of free time and maybe they just want to, to just have a chat with you, which is absolutely great because you might be an interesting person and people just want to spend time with you, which is amazing. But what happens in my situation is that I have a lot of people who ask me very, very complicated questions. So in order to be able to answer those questions, I have to make a proper research. I have to spend a lot of time. I have to think about my answer because I want to give you the right advice, the right information. So you don't have to worry about the information that you get from me. What happens in many situations is that people ask me some really complicated questions. I spend a lot of time replying to them and at the end they just unfollow me and they just forget about me. It doesn't happen very often, but it happens in very many cases as well. You know, like some people uh, do keep in touch with me and I like keeping in touch with you as well. It's very, very cool. But, um, you know, I thought that now if somebody will have a very, very complicated question about studying, something that you really, really need to know, then you can sign up for my VIP Patron. A membership on Patreon and there I will do the proper research, I will answer everything for you, I will talk to you and we'll have a proper communication on Patreon. The reason I want to do it is because there I will put a lot of time to help you and to do the proper research. Also what happens is very often I get people replying to me and saying hi, 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 hello, hi, hi, hi. <laughs> And uh, usually I don't reply to this kind of questions, to this kind of messages, they're not questions, because I'm not really sure if that's going to be a, construct a constructive chat and I'm not really sure that I will spend my time in a constructive way. <laughs> And probably instead of just saying hi, 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 just message, say hi, how are you, my name is, just introduce yourself and maybe ask a question or say what you want to say, you know. This is how people will reply, they don't know if their time is going to be spent in a constructive way and we all have families, friends and we want to not ignore ourselves and our close people. Also, I had a situation when the person messaged me and said, Hi, how are you? Why don't you reply to me? Hi, 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 how are you? <laughs> and I didn't reply to them and when they got extremely angry, they told me that Anna, I will block you. <laughs> and I don't know if they blocked me or not, um, but yeah, you know, like, don't waste your time, guys. And if you want to message someone, just do it in a constructive way, like say hi, how are you? Introduce yourself and also say what you want to ask, say what you want to say. And this is going to be much better and much, much more constructive. And you know, this topic about being able to properly message someone on social media, uh, properly writing an email is very, very, very important right now as I see it and as I find it because 
we do communicate and we have to communicate properly in the real life and I actually want to communicate properly on social media because we never want to waste our time in the real life and we don't want to do the same thing on social media either. Um, maybe you have a lot of time, which is great, but let's say in my case, I don't have too much free time. And when I have some free time, I want to talk to my friends, to my family, to my relatives. I want to spend some time with myself and I want to reply to people, but I want to be constructive as well. So I will keep enjoying this beautiful day because probably soon we'll get some rain and I want to enjoy it as long as I can. Uh, we'll get like a week of rain or maybe even more, but um, yeah, it's like a beautiful, beautiful weather right now. Hi, good morning, guys. So it is Saturday today and I woke up this morning. It was very sunny and beautiful. I got ready to go to a nice coffee shop to buy my first takeaway coffee in almost three months. And guess what happened? Yes, it was very, very rainy, so I even can't go out properly. So I decided to stay at home today and maybe tomorrow or the next week I'm gonna go and get myself a takeaway coffee. I'm so excited. I'm tired of my homemade coffee. I really want to buy something. And I decided that I'm just going to edit this video. If I stay at home, I will complete my daily planner because I bought myself a new daily planner. Look at this. It's so, so beautiful. And look at these colors. Yeah, it's really nice. I find it very comfortable to use. I buy it in Tesco and it costs only a few euro and it's very good because I can use it for two years. I'm also gonna plan my next week. I have a lot of planners, I use Google Calendar as well. And tell me guys, do you plan so much? Do you plan your day, your week, your month, your year? Because I plan everything and all the time. And sometimes I feel like I'm wasting my time, but I just can't stop planning. I, I don't know what's wrong with me, but I just can't stop planning. I need to have a plan. I need to see how my day is going to look like. This is what I got used to. My mom used to be extremely busy when I lived with her. She used to always do something. So I feel like I need to plan my day because it's usually busy as well. And I need to see what's going to happen in my day. And yeah, I will push myself to relax because I have a problem. I can't really relax. I can't chill. I always work. I always do something and I have to push myself to relax. I know it's not the biggest problem in the world, but you know, it's very important for productivity to relax and to just um, watch a movie, to get some ice cream or maybe some crisps or maybe some sushi. You know, I love sushi. <laughs> I will talk about sushi on this channel very, very often. So sushi lovers, you're very welcome here. This week was a bit boring, but from next week, more businesses will start to open. And next week, I'm going to make one of my 2020 goals come true. So next week is going to be extremely active, extremely interesting. So keep watching this video to see what's going to happen next week. Maybe I am going to inspire some of you to begin a new hobby or to start doing something new. There is something else I have recently discovered. is this halloumi cheese. It's made in Cyprus. And I found it very, very tasty because you can grill this cheese or you can fry it. It's very salty, just treat it on its own. But what I try to do, I try to fry it on a pan and then I added this cheese to a salad and it was actually very very tasty so it's something new and tasty I've discovered. It has a little bit of fat and it has protein but generally I really enjoyed this this cheese with a salad it's gonna go really really well. Good morning so I went to a nice coffee shop and I got myself some Turkish desserts because I really really like Turkish desserts. This is pistachio baklava and this is something which I don't know what it's called but I hope they're gonna be tasty and I'm so nervous because this morning I finally got my first takeaway coffee in about three months so I'm gonna enjoy this coffee and I went shopping as well. So I got got myself a Charlotte Tilbury foundation. I think it's number two for my skin. So I'm extremely happy to finally buy some makeup. So yeah, I have a very nice morning with shopping, with some Turkish nice treats and with a takeaway coffee. This is a lovely and very tasty cappuccino. I was really missing coffee. 
cool so it's already monday evening and today in just a few minutes i'm gonna make one of my 2020 goals come true because i really wanted to try it for ages but unfortunately i was too busy with other activities so now finally i can try it and make sure you keep watching this video because i might motivate you to start up a new hobby or to try something new Good evening guys, it's already Wednesday and I did so many things until today. On Monday I had my hoop classes and it was one of my 2020 goals to go to hoop classes and try it. It was so cool, I really enjoyed it, but it was so painful. On Tuesday I went to pole classes and I totally forgot absolutely everything about pole, so I have to learn everything again. And now my muscles are so sore, I'm wrecked, I'm extremely tired and the only thing that I can do now is get my myself some Ben and Jerry's ice cream and go to bed and enjoy my evening. But before I do this, I want to ask you what do you think about this kind of formats, about this kind of vlogs? Please write your opinion in the comments. Do you want them a bit more? Do you want me to talk a bit more about myself or about some other aspects of my life? Please make sure you give this video a like, you do subscribe to my channel and now I have some very important information for those who live in the UK. So if you live in the UK, Okay, make sure you keep watching this video. I have two vouchers. They're worth 20 pounds. They're called Love to Shop and you can use these vouchers in stores and you can buy yourself something very nice. If you want to win these two vouchers, please make sure you follow a few very simple steps. First of all, you have to follow me on Instagram, subscribe to my YouTube channel and leave a comment under this video saying that you live in the UK and you would like to win the Love to Shop vouchers. Make sure you leave some of your contacts, maybe your email address or maybe your Instagram account so I can contact you, find your address and send you these Love to Shop vouchers. Make sure you write the comment because you might be the only person from the UK watching me and in one week time I'm going to check who is from UK and I'm gonna send these vouchers to you. If there are a few people I'm just randomly gonna choose one person and I will send these vouchers to you and again they're worth 20 pounds. Thanks for watching me guys, have a good evening, day or morning and I will see you in my next one.